Welcome biologists, this session we're going to take a look at how hormones and nerves impact upon the heart rate. I've already done videos on the standard deviation so I'll post a link to that in the description below and I'm going to do t-test next so I'll also put that link in the description below. So for this um, spec point I've designed this form so that you can easily fill it out and you can track what is happening to the heart rate and how it is stimulated by nerves and hormones. So to start off with, we have some receptors that are used here in order to increase and decrease the heart rate. The first one is the baroreceptor, we will detect blood pressure. So if I'm going to increase my heart rate, it will detect a low blood pressure. And these baroreceptors can be found in the aorta, the vena cava, the carotid arteries, and also the muscles. Another receptor is the chemoreceptor, and this will detect a low blood pH. I'll get a low blood pH because I'll get a lot of um, hydrocarbonate ions formed in the Bohr effect. And I'll also get a lot of um, acidic substances formed. If you need to have a recap of this, please have a look. I'll post another link in the description below regarding the Bohr effect as well. So both of these receptors will send an impulse to the medulla oblongata which contains the cardiovascular center and the cardiovascular center will then activate the sympathetic nervous system and this will cause impulses to be sent along the acceleratory nerve to the san again if you need to recap the cardiac cardiac cycle that's probably a good idea and i'll post another link in the description below um, this will increase the frequency of wave of waves of excitation from the san and therefore increase the heart rate now the hormones involved here, will, which will also increase the heart rate, um, are triggered by nerves. So nerve impulses that are stimulated by the medulla oblongata and the cardiovascular centre. Um, so the cardiovascular centre will send impulses to the hypothalamus and that will activate the adrenal medulla to release adrenaline and also the adrenal cortex to release, to release cortisol. Now, adrenaline, this will increase the heart rate and cause more carbohydrates released from the liver. And the cortisol will also increase the metabolism of carbohydrates. So I've got more glucose available for aerobic respiration to increase the heart rate and available there to generate ATP for muscle contraction. So let's have a look at the opposite. So um, my baroreceptors and the chemoreceptors will do the same job here, in, but they will detect either a high blood pressure or a high blood pH. They will both send impulses to the cardiovascular center in the medulla oblongata in the brain. Only this time will activate the parasympathetic nervous system. This will send nerves, a nerve impulse down the vagus nerve to the SAN, which will cause a decrease in the frequency of the waves of excitation from the SAN, and this will decrease the heart rate. Again, I'm gonna have the same hormones involved here, but I'm just gonna get a less stimulation of this. So therefore I'm gonna get less adrenaline being released and I'm gonna get less cortisol being released. So those are the impacts upon the hormones and the nerves and how they impact upon the heart rate. I'll do the T-test in the next video and put links in the description below. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best.